we are going we are going to do a room tour and look at this little buddy over here in one of the cubes salem buddies <laughs> what are you doing silly i don't know if he'll stay in that cube but anyway he's in here <laughs> so here is my beauty room I don't know if any of you guys watched my old beauty room tour in 2019, but things have definitely changed in here a bit since then. So I still have this here to the side of me like I had before in 2019. I just added a bunch of these storage bins and cubes to this and I cannot remember exactly what this unit is called but I got it from Ikea so I will link it down below any of the things that I can link for you guys today from my beauty room I will have linked down in the description box and little Salem isn't for sale <laughs> I still have these two units there for nail polish and then I also have all of my foundations right here on this shelf so I know before in 2019 I think I was using these acrylic shelves to put my eyeshadows up on but I have moved all of my nail polishes back up on these racks so a lot of nail polish um, and then the star of the show in today's video is this unit here. And this is what my mom and I picked up at Ikea whenever we were there a few weeks ago, whenever I told you guys I might get ready with me. But this is the Alex five drawers on both sides. And then on top, it's kind of just like a tabletop unit. I cannot remember what that is called, but I'll link it down below. Um, Josh ordered me this desk pad to go on top of it just to keep it clean and <laughs> I'm still trying to flatten it out like we got it at Amazon and it was rolled up so and then before we get into what is in the drawers I really enjoy this corner of my beauty room I moved most of my clothes in here and I just like having most of my stuff in here so I can just get ready in the morning, you know, pick out my outfit, do my makeup, my shoes, that whole thing. So, and this little unit right here, I actually got this at Target. It's kind of like an Ikea knockoff. I will say the quality of this is nowhere near as good as like Ikea furniture, but it was still pretty good for the price, I guess. I still have my picture that I had previously but I just love having all my clothes in here. I love this couch. I know it probably looks a hot mess, but this is like my relaxation corner. Am I talking too loud for you, buddy? You want to get out of here? <laughs> okay, we'll get the door open for you, buddy. <laughs> Say bye-bye. <laughs> But yeah, love my little relaxation corner over here. And I also have like a little light thing that projects and does like different things, which is very relaxing. And I have all of my Natasha Denona palettes set up over here on display. I really like the way that looks and how I have that stored there. And then I have <laughs> a full length mirror over here. Um, which I enjoy that in this room. So let's go ahead and get into each of the drawers over here with my little beauty desk, my makeup desk here. So in this top drawer right here, let me zoom in. I have all of the items that I tend to use on an everyday basis or at least on a more regular basis or maybe like things I'm just kind of testing out. I have like my mascaras and daily eyeliners and eyeshadow pencils in there. I have face primers and my um, brow products in here, eyeshadow primers. And then I have my sunscreen and like my foundations, concealer, setting sprays. And then I recently picked up the e.l.f. Make It Mist and Set again. 
That used to be my favorite drugstore makeup setting spray. So I'm kind of getting back into using that again. So that is that drawer there. And I have been keeping all of my skincare products in the bathroom. So that's why I don't have any skincare besides my sunscreen up here. I kind of use my sunscreen as a primer. So that's why I kept it in the beauty room. And then in the second drawer here, we have eyeshadow palettes. So I have all of my little Wet n Wild eyeshadow trios in here. The ones that were discontinued. I just absolutely love these. I have my Tarte palette. I have some pigments back behind there. Um, some CoverGirl eyeshadows. My Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit in a backup. And I just have all of like my single eyeshadows in this little unit here. And I got all of these like acrylic organizers off of Amazon. So if I can still find those because I have had these since 2019, I will link them down below, but they fit perfectly in these Alex five drawers, or they also fit perfectly in the nine drawers. The nine drawers and the five drawers are basically the same size. It might be slightly a different sizing, like they might be a little bit longer or something in the back. But yeah, I just, I love the way that this organization is. So in here, I have all of my bronzers and setting powders. So I still have a lot of room to grow. So like I was telling you guys, I really narrowed down my bronzer collection. So I only have like a few, I mean, for the average person, this is still probably a lot of bronzers, but it's way less than I used to have. And then in the back there, I just have some like Halloween makeup stuff and some of these Rimmel Provocalypse. They're just kind of too long to fit in my lipstick organization. So that is that drawer here. In this drawer, we have all of my blushes and highlights. And this organizer is the same as the one above that has the bronzers and the powder products in there. But I just love this drawer right here. So pretty, all of my blushes. I still have quite a few blushes and still quite a few highlights, but I did I did declutter a lot of these products as well. Not as many blushes as highlights, but I still did declutter a lot of my products that I had. And then in this bottom drawer here, I have all of my big eyeshadow palettes. So this is probably the thing that has changed the most <laughs> since you guys last saw my other... Um, makeup I guess I did like an eyeshadow palette collection video back in 2019 so as you can tell it really has you know I've really decluttered a lot I still have the Anastasia Sultry palette and the Soft Glam I still have the original Urban Decay Naked palette the Too Faced Sweet Peach I love the Too Faced Feet Sweet Peach. It's one of my favorite palettes. Um, the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. I've got the Orange Glad. I really love that palette. It's such a pretty little palette for summer. Let me get it opened here to show you. But I just love these shades for summertime. So pretty. So I definitely wanted to keep that little palette because I do enjoy those orange shades. Um, also have the Alter Ego, the Alter Ego Goddess palette, which this is a dupe to the Natasha Denona Gold palette, which this thing's a hot mess. It needs to be cleaned, but still have that palette. I have the Alter Ego Sahara. This other ColourPop palette, um, this had a name and I can't remember what they called this one. It does have just some single eyeshadows, but it was like one of those ones they already have built that you could purchase. And I really enjoy the colors in that as well. 
It's sort of on par with the Orangey Glad. I have the Lorac Pro, which I have considered decluttering this, but I haven't quite decluttered it yet. Um, we've got the Urban Decay Honey, Naked Honey Palette. Another ColourPop. This has a bunch of single shadows. Um, I've also considered decluttering this as well because I never use this, but I have that down there. And then we have two um, Pro Fusion palettes, the Chocolates and Pro Pigments. I still really love both of these palettes. <laughs> it's definitely been kind of through it. <laughs> the packaging is not the best anymore, but I do love both of those palettes still. And then I have some of these Wet n Wild Fantasy Maker palettes that came out this year. I thought I was gonna use these in like maybe some Halloween tutorials, but I never filmed those. So I've never opened those. So I've considered taking these back to Walmart because I still have the receipt. So I might be returning those, just depends. And then I have these two palettes here. This is one of those Tarte palettes that you can put eyeshadows in. And I have a bunch of MAC, like single MAC eyeshadows and some Makeup Geek, some Jane singles, and then just some other random eyeshadow singles that I've depotted over the years. So I do love that palette and I actually really enjoy the MAC single eyeshadows. I've kind of fallen back in love with those again. Um, I have the Wet n Wild highlighting palette which I did kind of consider decluttering that because I don't really use that palette a whole lot. And then in the back, back there, I just have some MAC palettes that have like single MAC eyeshadows and single Makeup Geek eyeshadows in those. So those are all of like my larger palettes that I still have in my collection. And then I do have more eyeshadow palettes over here. We're gonna get a little bit out of order, <laughs> but I have more like Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes and other like drugstore palettes in this drawer. I purchased all of these off of Target recently just because I fell back in love with my rooftop bronzes and also my chill brunch neutrals which that palette is actually downstairs right now but these are all the palettes that I have in this drawer and then Mm. I also have these eyeshadow primers from Maybelline, which I do really enjoy these. It's such a shame that they stopped making those. Okay, so we're going to start up here again since we got a little bit out of order. So in this drawer here, I just have all of like my makeup tools and things that I use on a daily basis up here. Then in this drawer, I have like some backup products. And then I have like another backup of my um, sunscreen. I have some concealers over here, like extra shades that maybe don't match me right now. Um, I have my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This little travel Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray, I like to keep this. So whenever I travel, I can just take that. I have some like glittery shadows here, brow products, and then I have like liners and eyeshadow pencils that are more like neutral in this section. And then I have like all my colored, well, except for this, I need to go over there, all of my colored eyeliners here. So that is this drawer. Then that was the eyeshadows that I just showed you guys. And then in my drawer below that is all of my lip products. This I also really decluttered and got rid of a lot of lip, lip products that I had. I just found that during the pandemic, I really did not wear lipstick very much. So I ended up decluttering a lot of my lipsticks. The ones in particular, like in this first section right here, 
are the lipstick shades that I tend to wear more often and they're more of like my everyday lipstick shades. And then I have like brighter colors or maybe like lipsticks that I don't wear as often back here. And then that's the only thing I don't like about these drawers. There's probably like a good like four inches of space back there that I can't really use. And I have like more spots for lipstick, but I probably won't put anything back there because I won't be able to get to it. Um, but yeah, so if I get any future lipsticks, I'm probably gonna have to declutter because I don't have any extra space in here. Oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> the drawer made such a weird noise. And then this bottom drawer here, oh, it probably got a hold of that. <laughs> I have all of my fake nails in here and um, as you can see, this drawer is a hot mess. <laughs> but I bought these a while back. Um, OPI did like a Barbie collab and I've wanted to wear these, but now I'm like, it's fall. So I feel like they don't really go with fall time. So I haven't really worn those. Like I have all these little things where I've painted my nail polishes so I could kind of see what they look like. I have like nails that I've painted and gotten ready for whenever I decide to wear them. So I just have a ton of nail things down here. You guys know how much I love wearing my press on nails. So that's everything in that drawer. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.